Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. Now, if you're getting this error message where the action cannot be completed because the file or the folder is open in another program, you can follow these steps to fix it. So let's close out of this here. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to the search bar here and then search for resource monitor. So you're gonna search resource monitor, which is an app that monitors the resources on your computer. And we're gonna open that up. Now, once you open it up and make sure you like a menu like this, you're gonna go to the CPU tab that's listed up here. So you're gonna tap on that. And then here, you're gonna look where it says associated handles. You're gonna expand that. And then right in the search handle search bar here, you're gonna search the name of the file or the folder you're looking to delete that can be deleted. So in my case, for example, if I have something like uh, cars here that I wanted to delete that folder or file that doesn't want to delete I'll come in here search that name up like cars and then I'll click on this refresh here to search for any basically processes that are running that are open that's why I can't delete it and if I find them I'm gonna simply right click on the keyboard and then it's gonna bring up end process and we're gonna end that process so I don't have anything associated in that folder right now, but if I did, it would show up that is open, and it might not be open where you can see it, but it's running on the computer. You're gonna end that process, and you might have to do it for uh, multiple lines. It might show you like multiple processes, and each of them you wanna close out that are associated with that file or folder. And then once you do that, you're gonna go back, and then you can go ahead click on the trash icon to delete and that should delete it and that message should go away. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your Windows computer. We'll see you guys next time.